This is one of my favorite lessons. If you've done other code.org courses, you might have seen this. Let's get going. All right, part one. Let's see what we're doing. Make George the dog actor actor one say hi there. Oh, so this actor one got it. Say hi there. And here's our win run. Okay, so if I want George the dog, I don't think it will do anything yet. Nope. But if I grab this block and put it on win run, that means when I click on run, actor one, which must be George, say hi there. Let's hit reset and run. Hi there. Hi, George. <laughs> awesome. Let's, um, yeah, let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course C, and I'm on the lesson chase game with events. Let's see what we got. Can you make George the dog, actor one, okay, so that must be him, actor one, say something. Then have Olive, the cat, actor two, say something afterwards. Okay, well, we have this win run block. So we need, like, I hit win run now and nothing's going to happen. But I have these blocks, or well, this block. I'm going to drag one out and attach it to win run. Now, the other name for George apparently is actor one, say hi. Okay, so let's see if it works. All right, now to make Olive also say hi, code runs in order, right? We'd need to attach another block. We'd need to have another line of code. And we're going to ask the computer to make Olive say hi. This won't work though right now. George is just saying hi twice, okay? How about good morning? Olive is actor two. That's the other name apparently, the computer name for Olive. Let's see. Ta-da! Awesome. We got it. Let's keep going. This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Okay, let's see. Can you write a program to make George, Actor 1, move towards Olive the Cat? All right, so remember, the computer name for George is Olive 1. So here's our code area, and here's our code options, the blocks we can drag over. Okay, so when run... I need to make George move. Okay, so move actor one, and that would be George, to the right, which is this way. I'm not sure if 25 pixels is enough. I'm going to change it to 50. Let's see what happens. You can always hit run and be wrong in code. Uh, I get things long a lot. Um, and what's great about code is you can just try. Oh, oh, did that count? What? I didn't even see it. Uh, you can try and try again. Move towards. Oh, was that enough? Okay, one more time. Ta-da! Awesome. All right, let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Can you write a program that makes George, Actor 1, so that's the computer name for them, him, Actor 1, move to all of the cat and say, hi there. Ooh, now they're combining stuff. When George reaches her. Okay. So here's our run block, and this is where we drag our code. Oh, now look at this. When actor one touches actor two. Okay, wait a minute. So let's one thing at a time. We want to move towards the cat. So I'm going to grab the move towards, and George was actor one. I'm going to move right. Uh, let's try 100. Okay, now we ran into Olive. Say hi there. So when actor one touches actor two so if i want him to say hi there when george reaches her i want him to say hi there it looks like this block will detect when i reach her so instead of attaching it up here i can go olive will say hi actor two will say hi there when actor one reaches actor two so she will say hi when he reaches her, I think. Let's try. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going. This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Can you write a program to make Octavia the Octopus say, What's new when she is clicked? Ooh, okay. So here's our workspace. We can click and drag code out to it. So when she is clicked so if i say oh is she actor one i guess she is they didn't tell us but there's only one thing over here so i'm gonna assume 
actor one. We'll find out. This, though, what I'm doing right now is wrong, and I'll show you why. So, yep, she says hi there. But when she is clicked, we don't want to trigger it just by me clicking run. We want it to work when the actor is clicked. What actor? I think she's actor one. So, boop. And now let's see. She doesn't say hi there yet because the only time this code will run is when I click. Oh, I'm saying the wrong thing. I was like, it's broken. All right, so that's what's tricky about code. We got to pay really close attention. Everything has to be perfect. All right, let's try now. Ta-da! Awesome. We got it. Let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on the CS Fundamentals course, Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Now write a program to make Waddles the Penguin, solid name for a penguin, move around using the up, down, left, right keys to hit all the targets. So these must be the targets. Hello, Waddles. This icon means this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across. Cool. And so we have multiple things here that we can use to trigger, right? So when the down arrow, when the left arrow, when the right arrow, we can use different things. So now here's our options. So move actor, and I guess this would be actor one. So move actor up one. Let's start testing. And I'm just going to use this so you can see. So the keyboard, yep, that one's working. All right, now I'm going to drag out this one. And here, I guess we'll do it like that. Now, we can change this. So instead of up, we need down. Let's test that now. So far, so good. Let's try out these other two. And I got to change up these blocks, right? When left arrow is press. And so each of these are triggered by a different thing that's going to be happening. And when right arrow is press, let's hit reset and run. Wah, wah. Let's get these flags. Green. Go, Waddles, go. Go, Waddles, go. Awesome. Let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. I'm on course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. The repeat forever block allows you to run code over and over forever. Oh, awesome. Loops or repeats are really important to programming. Use this block to move Chomp the Dino. Yes. Up Actor 2. Okay, so the computer's name for Chomp is Actor 2. Up and down by 400 pixels forever. Okay. Up and down by 400 pixels forever. So let's look for our new block here. Ah, repeat. And there's a one. They want us to use one. So notice that this doesn't need to attach to anything. It's just going to start happening. And how much? Well, <laughs> forever. So move up and down by 200 pixels. Okay, move actor. I'm going to put this inside the repeat. And you see how it wraps around? Because it runs the code, hits the bottom, goes back up, runs the code, hits the bottom, back up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, up and down. Oh yeah. So right now, Chomp is going to go off the screen because he's just going to go up forever. Oh, he got stuck. Okay. I never told him to go back down. So I need to grab another, oop, reset, grab another one of these. And now I'm going to put down. So now Chomp should go up 400, down 400, hit the bottom, up 400, down 400, up 400, down 400, forever. Let's try. Awesome. Loops or repeat blocks are tricky, but they're super important to programming. Let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Can you have Waddles, Actor 1? So Actor 1 is the name, the computer's name for Waddles, the code name for Waddles. Say ouch and play a hit sound when he runs into chomp. When you're done, play the game to make that happen. Okay. Ouch. All right. Use this block for when Waddles and Chomp touch. Okay. So, when Actor 1. Oh, that makes sense. So, when Actor 1, which should be Waddles is Actor 1, touches Actor 2. So, this will trigger an event. 
what do we want to happen when they touch? Well, we want actor one, right, to say, ouch. Oh, now we have to do more and play a hit sound. Hmm. Actor, oh, play. So now we can put multiple lines of code underneath each other. And code runs in order. So mine's going to say, ouch, and then play a hit sound. Well, play a random. Oh, there's hit. Let's see. Okay, that all looks good. Run. Okay. Oh, I don't want to hurt Waddles. Ouch! And my sound is off, but the hit sound is playing. <laughs> awesome. Let's keep going. This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, the Express course, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Can you add a block to score a point when Waddles the Penguin, Actor 1, runs into Octavia the Octopus? Okay, so Actor 1 is the code, the computer's name, for Waddles. Octavia the Octopus apparently is Actor 3. Play the game and move Waddles with the arrows until you score. So, can you add a block to score a point when Waddles the Penguin actor run, runs into Octavia? Okay, so in the last level, or maybe two ago, uh, no, I think one ago, we used something to make Waddles say ouch when he runs into our dinosaur. So if you look at these blocks, let's see, when actor one touches actor two. So I bet if we use when actor one, this triggers some event. So we're asking the computer, hey, if actor one touches actor three, who would be Octavia, play, wait, score a point. Okay, where are points? Oh, here we go, score point. And so now when we touch Octavia, who's actor three, hopefully we'll score a point. Let's give it a shot. Uh, uh, but uh, I still got hit though. <laughs> oh well, better luck next time. But we got it. Let's uh, keep going. This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course C. I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Add blocks to the win run event to change the background scene and speed and speed of waddles. Ooh, add blocks to the win. Okay, so we can move some of these over. Where's win run? Oh, we have to add it. Okay, got it. Win run, because all of this stuff is triggered. The only way this happens is if we do something like hit the arrow key other than repeat. Now, this will happen every time we click run. So we want to add blocks, change the background scene, and the speed of Waddles the Piglin. Play the game and move Waddles with the arrow keys until you score. Okay, so first you want to change the background. Let's see with that. Up oh, there it is. A cave. Is there? I want random. Cool. And the speed. Ooh. So Waddles is, I remember the computer's name for Waddles was Actor 1. So we want to change, ooh, set Actor 1 to fast. Ooh, let's do very fast. I don't want to get hit. All right, let's give this a try. And so now this starts automatically. So the second I hit run, Actor 1 now has a faster speed and the background should change. Let's test. What? Oh, there we go. That had me worried. Boom! Ooh, I was so fast. Awesome. Let's keep going. This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course C, and I'm on the lesson Chase Game with Events. Create your own story. Yes! When you're done, click Finish to share with your friends. See story ideas in the hints. Awesome. So when I hit Finish, if it lets me share, I'll put this in the description. All right. So, oh... Uh... Win run. Let's see. I'm going to try to set up a. There we are. Okay. Hidden. A hidden? What's a hidden? Oh, I guess you can't see it. That, that would make sense. Ooh, a random. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah. <gasps> I want a robot. Oh, the robot's name is Spiff. Of course, this robot's name is Spiff. All right. And then show a title screen, sure. Code is awesome. Yes. Go code. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, no, no, no. Keep playing. 
best title screen ever. Okay, now, um, we got our actor. Now, oh, I'm going to randomize the background. Okay. Now, I don't want up, do I? Can I drag him? Oh, reset. Oh. Set actor top left. Ooh, okay, here we go. Set actor one. Mm, middle left. Perfect. And then... Oh, that's what I'll do. So I'm going to leave the... Okay. I'm going to set the background. When actor one touches actor two, so I'm going to need to add some controls here. Down. When actor one touches actor two, set actor one into random. No, I want actor two to change. And then let's see if I can make actor two move around. Repeat forever, but then they would just constantly go all over the place. Ooh. Here we go. Wait for... Ooh, random. Reset, run. Oh, I got a point. Now let's see if I can get... Oh, oh, too fast. Oh, did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> I got another point. Oh, no. This is awesome. Okay. I am loving this. I think that the background should randomly change, though. Um, upon contact. No. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I should have score point, random background. Then say ouch. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Point. Jeez. He's fat. Ah. All right. I'm having too much fun. Um, let's see. Set background. Change. I'm not going to randomize the background upon it each time I hit. I am going to... Leave it there. Run. Ooh, that's a cool scene. I am going to click finish. I'm super proud of this. And I'm going to go ahead and share mine in the description. So please play it, try it out. Um, share your own project as well. I'd love to see the cool stuff you made. Awesome. I'm going to keep going.